Hey everybody, welcome to Chef Callan's Louisiana Grill Hidden Treasures and Express Foods. Tonight we're gonna do a little simple, simple dish. It's a shrimp and mushroom pasta. A cream sauce, it's similar to an Alfredo. We're gonna use three different cheeses, a Parmesan, a pepper jack, and a little bit of the powdered Parmesan. We have a Reggiano, which is absolutely incredible. It's really, really simple, it's easy to do, it's great. We have some beautiful, beautiful 1620 Gulf shrimp. These are white shrimp, they've been peeled and deveined. They're, they're absolutely wonderful, the best shrimp you can get in Gulf of Mexico. Uh, we're lucky enough to get these down in the Dominican Republic. Donald Blanchard has a connection and he brings them down for us. We're gonna start with a little bit of Creole seasoning. Creole seasoning is simple. It's a, it's a little bit of garlic, white pepper, it's a granulated garlic, white pepper, paprika, uh, dark pepper, salt, of course, and cayenne. It gives it a little kick. And all we're going to do is sprinkle our shrimp just with that. We're going to roll them in in just a second. We're going to let them absorb a little of that flavor before we braise them off in our hot skillet. We're starting with a, just a basic home frying pan. I've got it on a low-medium heat. It's been on for just a few minutes. We're getting it nice and hot. We're going to get a little bit of whole creamed salted butter. You can use unsalted if you would like, but this works just as well. It's going to smoke a little bit. We're going get, to get our dish rolling. We're going to take our shrimp. We're going to start with our shrimp first, and then we're going to actually deglaze with a little white wine, a little lemon, and then we got some heavy cream and some beautiful shrimp stock. Actually, it's a combination of shrimp and lobster. Down here in the Caribbean, we get a lot of um, the Caribbean lobsters, which are the spiny lobsters. Um, which have just an abundance amount of flavor in the heads. And so we boil them down in our kettle and we keep a beautiful stock, orange, golden stock, and it's gonna give us a great, great, great flavor. We're gonna start with our shrimp and we're just gonna kinda lay these out in our pan, crank our heat up a little bit because we wanna braise them in just some plain butter. You can use olive oil if you wanna be a little more health conscious, but in Louisiana, butter makes it better. That's as simple as you can get. And so we're going to use the majority, I think we had about three pounds of shrimp here, peeled and deveined. And we're just going to let those sit in the pot for a few minutes till they start rolling. Now we'll take advantage of our seasoning. We'll put a little more seasoning on top of that because flavor in Louisiana is very, very, very important. Um, I, I don't know uh, what parts of the world are going to be watching this particular video, but in the South, especially in South Louisiana, we like, to, we like to have some flavor, or savor is the flavor here in, in, in the Dominican, which is we're grateful enough to be cooking in a beautiful place down here in the islands. It doesn't take a whole lot, lot of time. We're going to cook about probably two minutes. We're going to flip them over and another two minutes. Then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cool our pot down with a little bit of white wine and a little bit of lemon. And that's gonna, what it's gonna do, it's gonna stop the process of the shrimp from cooking because we don't want them to get all chewy and nasty. We want them to keep its texture, its sweetness, and, and, and the great, great, great flavors of the shrimp that are here to offer. So as you can see, we're just starting to roll them. They're cooked on one side. We're rolling them over just a little bit. That, that beautiful blackened seasoning or Creole seasoning is kind of crisping on the outsides a little bit. That's gonna add our flavor to, to this wonderful dish. It's, um, it's a very, very simple dish tonight. We have uh, some guests from Costa Rica, from uh, the Netherlands, Holland, and from also from uh, Switzerland. And they'll be joining us at the villas tonight to eat, and it's gonna be a great meal. We've got some French bread in the oven with some garlic bread, uh, with garlic and butter. And as you can see, our shrimp are just starting to turn white on the one side. So we're going to keep them rolling to where they get white. We don't want to cook them all the way through, though. We want them to finish cooking in our sauce and, and, and also prevent them from, from overcooking. Uh, we're going to also put some beautiful mushrooms in. I have some portabellas, some big portabellas, and some uh, baby, baby bellas is what these are called. There are pretty abundance here. To here at the, at, the, at the Dominican local stores. So we're gonna sprinkle our little mushrooms in. These are these big, beautiful, meaty mushrooms, which are absolutely incredible. We're gonna wait and put those in in just a few minutes. This is coming along just about perfect. We're gonna add now our, our little bit of white wine just to deglaze, pull off all our flavorings, kind of bring everything together. That also has a little citrus flavor to it from the white wine. We're gonna squeeze just a little bit of our lemon in there. 
This is a lemon here in Dominican. It's green, not like the yellow lemons we get in, in, the, in the States. But they're absolutely incredible, a lot of juice in them. So we're putting one in, we might put another one in in a second, we're gonna see. We're gonna let that wine start to reduce. What we're doing is we're cooking the wine out, we're pulling the flavors up out of the shrimp. It's gonna kinda get a little reddish from the flavors of the, of the Creole seasonings. We'll store them around a little bit. It's also gonna, it's gonna slow our cooking process down. Now, I'm gonna crank this fire up because you gotta cook with fire. Gas makes it better, as Donald always says. We've got some, this is a combination shrimp heads and lobster heads. And it's cooked down in our kettle with celery, carrots, and onions. And it's reduced down for about a day and a half or so. Then it's strained and we put it in little Ziploc baggies and freeze it. So we always have fresh stock around. We do with that with the chicken and the big, what they call the, uh, the ham down here, the ham bones. And so we always have some great, great flavors that are available to us here at our local kitchen in the villas. This is at the House of Debonair, coming at y'all live from Limanal, Santiago, Dominican Republic. Now we're gonna add our stock, which is gonna give us actually the flavor. Look at the chunks of, of meat in there, or chunks of, of fat, I guess is what you call that. That's that pink stuff in the bottom. Now that's just absolutely beautiful. It is gonna give us a great, great, great seafood flavor or a shrimp lobster flavor, kind of a sweet seafoody flavor. Now we've got two cups of heavy cream. This is just like Borden's or whatever. The kind we use here is Rico. It's a heavy cream, it's a 36 uh, base, 36% instead of 40, but it works just the same. We still have a lot of juice in there, but it's gonna thicken up when we add our pasta and our cheese. So there's no necessary, it's not necessary to go ahead and, and take it all out, all the juices out. And besides, we're kinda getting those shrimp to where they're finishing cooking right about now. They're still a little raw on one side, but they're, they're just about done. So our cream will go in now, and we're gonna add probably about a little more than half of it to start with. We're gonna get that rolling. That'll come to a beautiful boil in just a second. It'll start to, to, to I guess what you call, uh, uh, form a nice thick crust. We've got some fresh garlic, came straight out of the, out of the, uh, out of the garden. And we're gonna put that in. I chopped it up in the little food processor. I'm gonna put a little garlic in there. And I could have roasted the garlic to give it a more smoky flavor, but since this is a sweet Alfredo, we want the flavors of the garlic and the shrimp and the mushrooms to stand out. Now you see how the bubbles are starting to form around the pot? As they come together more, that what that is, it's reducing the cream and it's making the sauce. You're taking the liquids out of the cream to form the Alfredo sauce or the shrimp cream sauce because we've got the shrimp stock in there which is making it a shrimp cream. At this time, we're gonna go ahead and put our big mushrooms in and we're gonna let those just cook so they maintain their texture and, and they still have some meat to them. But they're gonna absorb our flavors as well, which is really important because we want the whole thing to taste good and we want it all to taste very flavorful. And we have some beautiful pasta that Donald, this is an egg noodle fettuccine. It's uh, made at the Princess Factory, just a few, few blocks from us here. And it's a local ingredient. And you can use any kind of pasta you want for this dish. It works out great for your family. It's an easy, easy dish. This is our Reggiano Parmesan cheese. This is shaved Parmesan. And it's absolutely wonderful. We're gonna put a little of that in on top. And as our bubbles keep reducing, the bubbles will get closer and closer and closer. It'll cook from the center out and it'll give us a great, great, great flavor. This cheese will help bring our sauce together so you don't have to use a roux or arrowroot or any kind of cornstarch or anything like that. The cheese will actually work out to do just the same. Donald, give me that pepper jack if you would. We have some pepper jack cheese that we're really lucky to find down here because it's not all the time we get it. We're gonna put a little bit of the fresh green onion in these are just the little chives or green onions that are locally here. And you can use a, a, a little chive, you can use whatever you'd like, but this just helps it. Now we're gonna gently roll this around and our sauce is gonna start to form. You can see it starting to come together as that cheese starts to melt. We're gonna add a little pepper jack and we reserved some of our cream, if you remember, 
Because the cream, we're going to have to add to it as it gets too thick, we'll have to add more. Once we add the fettuccine, the starches from the fettuccine are also going to help thicken our sauce to make it a velvety, creamy sauce. This is a Food Club product. It's a little pepper jack that we're going to put in there. It's a pepper jack cheese. They said it's all natural. I don't know, but we'll see. And it makes a great sauce as well. It's going to add a little bit of a kick to it. And you know, Louisiana, we like our kick. As this sauce starts coming together, you'll see it starting to form right here. You see it in the middle starting to form. Our shrimp, everything is cooked already. We're going to keep blending that around as our, as our sauce is forming. And then we're going to add our fettuccine and toss it. Roll, it, roll this sauce in our fettuccine and we're going to fin finish it off with a little more cream because it'll be too thick once that fettuccine starts coming out. And we have, what, six of us to eat tonight, so I'm going to do about one, two, and that should do there. Now we have a little bit of a flavoring. Let's go ahead and put that on top of that. That'll help, that'll help add to it a little bit. Now we have the basic Parmesan cheese, the Kraft product, which is good and it's known everywhere all around the world. We're going to go ahead and shake that in. And our Alfredo sauce is coming together right now. Or our shrimp cream sauce because we started with a shrimp pasta. Now we're going to go ahead and roll the final bit of our cream in there. So we had two cups of heavy cream, a little bit of shrimp stock, some garlic, green onions. Of course, wonderful shrimp that Donald brought back from Louisiana, Sal Piazza got them for us. Now, our sauce is nice and thick. It's sticking to the bottom there. It's just folding in. I'm going to reduce that heat down and we're going to toss. And then we're going to plate. It's really simple. Let's get that going. A little splash, but that's okay. Now watch this sauce. When we set this up, it's going to be beautiful. A little bit more. A little bit of low heat for the edges. That pasta in the middle is going to help thicken it a little more. We're going to have a beautiful Alfredo sauce. And we got a nice bowl we're going to put it in. And Donald's got some French bread for us. Everybody's like hanging over the stove waiting to eat. So, but we're going to have a nice shrimp flavor. We're going to have some beautiful mushrooms. We're going to garnish with some green onion. The mushrooms are still nice and tender, but they've maintained their temperature or their shape. They're not all chunky and nasty. And we're going to roll this on. And of course, our shrimp are beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. White shrimp from the Gulf of Mexico. The best you can get, huh, Duck? Start with our pasta, start laying it out, and our sauce is going to continue to thicken, and we're going to dump that right over the top of that in just a second. You have a pasta dish set for tonight. Absolutely wonderful. We're going to garnish with just a little bit of green onion on top of that. We're going to have French bread to sop up our sauce. And you know, voila. New Orleans style shrimp fettuccine with mushrooms from Dominican Republic. Thank you all again. Watch closely. Make sure you come see us down in the Dominican. Chef Callan Sinclair from the Dominican. All right, gang, let's eat. Wow. Good enough. Got French bread coming. Patrick, you can start. Yes, yes, yes. Let me get the plates. Thank you, everybody. And you know, instead of going through the mess of chopping up all the mushrooms and the shrimp and the stuff and making a mess in your kitchen, you can find Louisiana Grill Express in your local grocery store. Six minutes away, it's all in there, it's all good. Enjoy. <laughs>